Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry this is like the third time I'm recording this video. I honestly thought I was recording and it was never recording. So this is going to be uh, my favorites at the moment. Products that I recommend, products that I love, products that I just can't stop using. So I'm going to get started with the bronzers. One is not a bronzer, which I'm going to talk about first. This is technically, I guess, a... Uh, a primer a sheer primer is this one from um charlotte Tol tolbury charlotte Tol i could never say the name charlotte tolbury and i used to use it all over the skin but it just has like a very red undertone that it makes my face look not okay like it makes it look so reddish you know and i barely discovered it as a bronzer so i started putting it as a bronzer and i fell in love so that's my new way of using it it's as a bronzer so this is what i apply first to just give me that really pretty glow and it's a very light consistency it's it's very sheer but it does give you color and it gives you that glow so that's what i like to use now on my makeup routine even though today i'm not wearing it but i use it every day since i discovered it as um a bronzer for me <laughs> so yeah so i apply this first and then i will top it up top it off with this anastasia beverly hills bronzer or cream bronzer in amber i just wish this was a, was a little more pigmented or a little darker but i still love it it's more of a natural bronzer but since i go over it with a uh, powder bronzer it doesn't really matter but if you're just using like a just uh cream bronzer and if you like it to be more like out there i don't recommend it like well i mean it depends what shade you are but on my skin tone it just shows up kind of natural but if you want something more pigmented, I would recommend something darker. So yeah, but I do love it, so I recommend. And then the two powders that I use to set it is the first one is this. The first one is this one called uh, Estee Lauder. Well, the brand is Estee Lauder, and it's a medium deep. And I love it because this one you could make it very light, or you could make it very pig you could make it very pigmented. Um, it's a very builder buildable um uh, formula sorry my nose is killing me sorry if i sound weird but yeah i recommend it and then i use the hula caramel benefit bronzer but this one you just have to be careful because it's very pigmented and it can become very muddy very quick so you just have to add a little bit to give you like that contour and even though on the pan to me it looks very warm but when I apply it on my skin, it gives me a very cool tone of contour shade, you know? So for me, it's more of a contour shade. And my favorite foundation that I've been loving so much for almost like, I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been six months since I got this or even longer. I can't remember, but I love it. The only thing, it's already like basically done and I broke the pump. So I don't have a pump, so I have to pour it out, but there's barely anything in there. But I'm trying to get as much as I can out because, as you know, this stuff is pricey. And I just love the glow. I never really went for foundations with this finish because I was always like a full coverage, super matte uh, foundation. And I love their, I forgot their foundation that I had before that it was very matte, very full coverage. It came like in a little tube um i feel like i want to repurchase that one because i love the full coverage it gives and like how beautiful it looks because i lately i've been just into like the glowy more natural satin finishes um because my skin is very dry so for me these complement my skin really well but i kind of do miss like the full coverage matte uh finish but um yeah, this is something that I never thought I would like enjoy as much, but I do. So that's why I love it, and I'm sad that I'm running out. So if you like, like a very glowy, natural, but like with more coverage than a BB cream or like you know, I would recommend this one because it still gives you the coverage, but it's just not matte. It's just like a very healthy looking. Um, it has a healthy looking finish. So and this one's a natural. Radiant, radiant Longwear Foundation. Okay, and I'm going to 
concealer that I've been using every single day is this one from Tarte. The only thing, I can't remember the shade that I used to use. I used to brighten my under eye like a lot. So I just can't remember the shade. But the one that I got this time was um, in Fair Neutral. I'm basically done. There's like barely, th barely anything in there. And it doesn't brighten under the eye even though it looks so bright. Like once it's in my eyes, it just, I don't know if it just gets darker or it just doesn't brighten under my eye. So I just wish I would have remembered what shade because I get overwhelmed because as you know, a lot of concealers have different shades. So it's hard to tell and different undertones. So yeah. And um, I kind of want to try a new one because I've tried Huda Buda, uh, Beauty, uh, Huda Beauty con uh, concealers. I've tried the NARS Radiant concealer. I've tried um, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, ELF, the 16 Hour Wear, and the and also the, like the Dewy one. I've tried a lot of concealers, the Maybelline, but I kind of want to try a new one. So if you have a good recommendation, co recommendation, sorry, I can't say the word, of like a full coverage uh concealer that does increase please let me know because i'm in need of a new one so yeah okay and then oh yeah i forgot to show you this one as a contour stick well it says foundation stick foundation but i use it as a contour stick in almond from wet and wild and i haven't used it in a while but this is one of my favorites i'm always gonna repurchase because this one's very pigmented i love how it leaves the skin it's really good for contouring and I, I've had it for a long time and I kind of want to try their blushes because I heard their cream blushes are bomb as well because this one's really good so yeah I couldn't forget about that one and the primer that I've been loving is this one from Milk it's a Hydro Pro uh, but look how much I have left I'm trying not to use it as much just for special occasions and I don't know if I can repurchase it because it's so pricey. So I kind of want to try the e.l.f. one because I heard the e.l.f. one is like a dupe to it, to this. So I want to try the e.l.f. one. So if you try the e.l.f. one and if you've had this before, can you please let me know in the, on the comments if they are a dupe to each other? Because I love this. And then the same brand, the same brand milk, I have this Hydro, Hydro Pro Grip Set Refresh 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 spray and i'm running out this stuff is bomb if you have dry skin i recommend that like i say in my other videos just put a uh, spray a little bit because your skin can become very oily if you have an oily skin already it will look like a grease ball you know so just be careful but i love it and i'm sad that i'm running out of it because i don't think i'm gonna repurchase the big size because it's pricey maybe in the future future but not, not anytime soon so if you have this has become like a if you have a recommendation for this let me know but yeah but if you you have like a, a favorite dewy setting mist a setting spray please let me know what you recommend i've tried uh the mac one in the past but that was a long time ago i've tried the uh what is that brand at target and it's like a 22 dollar um uh, spray i kind of want to try that one again because i love that one uh, oh my gosh i can't think of the name but it has like a green top and it smells so good they have like it's like a they had a green one i think and a pink one and i have had both of them i forgot the name but yeah i've tried i've tried a lot of um elf and i used to have like the urban decay one i've tried um the two-faced one and um but most of them were like setting mist setting sprays but i kind of wanted like a like a dewy mist that will melt my skin and maybe also one that will set it but i, I just i'm looking for another one that is like a dip to this so if you've had this and you have another one that reminds you of this one please let me know there's one that i used to have from elf it was milk something like it would look like milk that one's way too dewy for me like that one no matter if i did a little bit it overdid it so Please don't recommend me that one, but if you have any other one that reminds you of this formula, please let me know. Okay, another product that I love is this Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake Loose Baking Setting Powder and Pound Cake. 
And the same thing, I want a different shade because I don't feel like this uh, brightens under the eye. I used to have a different shade that did brighten under the eye, but I'm so bad at remembering the shade names. So I always end up getting the wrong shade. So I need to start writing down like the shades that I get. So when I repurchase them, I know which one to get. And I kind of want to try the new one, the, the pink one that they have. But yeah, but I love it. I've been using it ever since I had it. And it's lasted me a long time. So these will last you forever. Because I love the Maybelline ones, but those I run out of them like that. So yeah, but this is something that I recommend. I feel like it's worth the per the price, the um, the cost, because it will last you forever. Uh, I love these NYX glue um, glitter glues. I've had this one forever. This is my second purchase, and I still have a lot. These are so good with the glitter. That's what I'm using for the glitter that I'm using today. And it, I don't get no fallout. I just love this product. I recommend this one. It's pretty cheap. I believe I paid like $5, I think, or $8. But I recommend the NYX Glitter Glue. Okay, and I'm talking about glue. This is my favorite um, eyelash glue from the brand Kiss. And I love that it has an applicator. And today I use it as eyeliner and then I applied my lashes but with these kind of lashes it's kind of hard because they're so curled that it's hard to like put it on the lid and not on my actual lash <laughs> but yeah but I do love this glue and I love the lashes that I'm wearing today I bought so many from Amazon but these are my favorite ones so far and these are the brand the brand is crazy but it's poop lash I mean poop lunch false lashes and these are in the style um, rounded. So they look like this. So they're the ones that I'm wearing today. And they're so lightweight. They look like eyelash extensions. They are beautiful. So I recommend these if you like like extreme lashes. They're not natural at all. So if you like my lashes, you'll like these. Okay. Um, Let's go with the lipsticks that I've been loving so much lately. Well, first are the lip liners. I love the Allegro lip liners in every um, collection. But this, these ones are the ones in the uh, perfect precision lip liners. But I like the like the gel ones or like the ones that you um, are with. I can't even say the word. I'm not even going to try. But the two shades that I have are blushing and I have... Um, sugar and spice and i love them this is more like a uh, mauve brown pinkish and this is like super pink undertone but i love them very good okay i've been using these like non-stop this one's from the brand um Too faced melted matte liquid lipstick in my type these, this formula is bomb. Um, I love all the shades that I've had from them. I bought in so many shades in the past. I recommend. And I recommend all the Sephora lip cream or lip stains. They're liquid lip. They turn out to be like matte liquid lipsticks, but they're called lip stains. And I recommend. I have so many shades. Well, I only have two shades. No, three shades. No, oh, four shades. I have a red one, a burnt orange, and a very light nude color and then this darker um taupey color but i've had over the years i've had a lot of them so they're really good okay and then another one that i'm always gonna recommend is this patrick ta it's like a lip cream slash lip gloss smells like mint this is beautiful the shade is beautiful i got it in the shade she's independent she's pricey but i i recommend Sorry, I feel like drugs, but I swear to God, I'm not drunk and I'm not on drugs. It's just like my allergies is making me kind of like, ooh. So sorry if this video is going to be all over the place. Forgive me, but yeah. Okay. And then the lip glosses that I've been loving are these four. Two are from Buxom. And they're both Dolly, but one is a cream and one is a, um, what do you call it? One is a... polish 
So this one is a full on plumpy lip polish and this is a full on lip cream. But they're both in the shade of Dolly. I love them the same. I recommend both of them. They are so good. Okay. And then this was a Fenty one. It is in Gloss Bob Heat. This stuff is amazing. I love how it makes my lips look. I love the shade of it. I just love everything about it. So I recommend. And... I have two. Oh yeah. Uh, these two that I've been loving from the Sephora brand. They're um outrageous. I guess the brand or the line is outrageous. Plump effect. Also, they do have plumpy on them. I thought they didn't, but they do. And I got it in number two and number seven. They are Bob. Okay. Oh, and then another lipstick that I'm wearing today. Well, I mixed it with the other ones. I had two nude ones, and then I applied this one because on its own it's a little harsh. But today I mixed it. Well, I put it on top of other two lipsticks, and I like how it looks now. So I like it. So I think I'm gonna use it like after applying two other ones, and then this one as a topper because by itself it's way too bright for me. But not something that I go for anymore like I used to. And it's from Milani. I've had it forever. So is in fancy number 17 it matches me so yeah and i've been loving these bronzer this no not bronzer these two products for makeup revolution i recently got them and i cannot stop wearing them it's what i'm wearing today they are super good um this is a revolution uh blush it's called a blusher Re reload Blusher Reload and Pink Lady. And this one's a highlighter called Highlighter Reloaded. And it's called Make an Impact. These are my favorite. Like, I can't believe I did not try them before. But that's the pink one. It's so pigmented, as you can see. It's beautiful. And this is a highlight. Like, let me see if I can turn this down so you can see how highlighted that is maybe you can but it's something that i'm always going to repurchase and i know that it's going to last me for a long time because they're very pigmented and look how much is in there it makes me want to try so many more blushes and so many more highlights from them because these are good and they were only seven dollars each at um, amazon the only thing that on amazon i can't get the other shades without prime because i have prime so i got this on prime but they don't have all the shades there so i kind of want to go to old town one of these days to try to find some or at target because i know they um revolution is at target now so yeah but i love these okay and now let me get to the glitters that i've been obsessed with i'm only going to show you the ones that i already used because i still haven't used a lot of these but the ones that i've used i'll talk about okay let me see out of the nine i think i've tried um i've tried five of them so i already tried the blue one i love on my tiktok my tiktok is diana loves makeup 101 please go follow me i post more stuff over there and i posted a look you see this color with this blue it look it looks it looked because it passed beautiful and then i don't have a video of this one because i i wasn't in the best mood <laughs> two days ago when i applied this one but I, I did not like oh because on amazon i got some lashes that have color on the sides and i was going like by the colors so like this is yellow so i applied those yellow feather lashes i did not like the look so i did not post it so this one, I just I think I want to use like a dark shade of uh, of a uh, shadow and then apply this. But I don't like a yellow on yellow on me. Or maybe because the shade that I have is not as yellow as I wanted it to be. So I still have to work with this. So yeah, but, uh, but these, oh my gosh. This pink one, I've been loving like crazy. I already did like two looks with this. Uh, 
obsessed. I love it. And today, I'm using two purple ones. The first one I applied is these little tiny ones. And it's like a purple pink undertone. And then I use this like purple magenta. And they're like obviously bigger. So that's what I'm wearing on my eyes. I am obsessed with these. So please look for body glitters on Amazon. I already have a video with the brand of these. Like I don't know right now by the top of my head. But if you watch my video, me reviewed these, you will know what they're called. Yeah, there was nine of them for ten dollars. So that's an amazing deal. Okay, we're getting there, guys. I'm almost done. I promised. Okay. Okay. Another thing that I've been loving, especially right now that it's so hot and it's the summer, is these hats from Walmart. Like these hats, you cannot go wrong with these. I just love that you can get different colors. I've, I've had a pink one, which is this color. I've had a gray one, grayish blue. And now I have this one. And I kind of want to purchase other colors because they're, they're really nice for only like $4. Like you cannot go wrong. So I love these. I recommend hats from Walmart. Okay. And then since we're talking about Walmart, Oh my gosh, they're like tangled. No. I love these chains from Walmart because they're only like $3. I have a gold one and I have a silver one. And oh my gosh, these will last you forever. This is like my second gold one that I've purchased. I love these with like, especially this with like black, um, navy blue, like darker colors. This one I like it with like when I'm wearing darker colors. And this is what I'm wearing, like warm colors, lighter colors. But guys, pick these up because they're really heavy. They're really good quality. Obviously, you don't want to wet them. But even when I wear perfume, they don't mess up. So yeah, I recommend these little chains at Walmart for like, thinking, yeah, they're like $3. Go pick them up because they're good. They make the looks, it makes a big difference. So I recommend those. And the last two products, um, the hair dye that I have, I dyed my hair, I can't remember when it was, and I already wash my hair a lot of times. And usually when I dye my hair, after the third, fourth wash, it fades, like it starts fading. But this one has not faded since I dyed my hair, so I'm, I'm obsessed and I'm, I'm so in shock. And it's not even a, per a permanent hair dye, it's a de Debbie permanent hair color. So it's not like a permanent permanent, it's a Debbie so for being a Debbie, I'm in shock because all the permanent colors that I'm using for jet black, well, this one is not even jet black, it's just black. It hasn't faded. So I don't know if it's because I I was transi transitioning from a light color to darker. So maybe because I went like a darker brown and then I went to black, maybe that's why it made it last longer. But I don't know. But I do love this and I think I'm gonna always gonna. I'm always going to repurchase this brand and it's called and I love how it leaves your hair so soft when you dye it and I just love it. So it's the Wella Color Charm Debbie Permanent Hair Color in one end black. I recommend like I'm obsessed because my hair is still so black and for being just a black I feel like it's jet black to me. So yeah I recommend. And I kept a bottle just so I don't forget the brand because I'm very like because I've tried so many hair dyes that I'll forget. And the last thing that I've been obsessing over is this Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shining Serum. This stuff, oh my gosh, I already talked about it. I love, I love the smell because it brings back memories. And I want to, like I said in my last video, I want to go back to getting that. Uh, the heat protectants, I want the curtain one and then the original one. So the original one is in a black bottle and the one with the curtain, like this one comes in the red bottle. So I'm gonna get those, but yeah. These are my favorite guys. Oh, and I forgot my perfume. Let me show you the perfume that I've been obsessing over this month, sorry. Is it? What, what, what is it? Oh. It's 
love it. I never thought I would love this much because I had it in the past. I returned it and then I repurchased it because I found it on Ross. It is this Michael Kors Sparkly Blush. I'm obsessed with this. This is such a beautiful sh um, shade. How can I say shade? A beautiful scent. It's very girly. It's powdery. But like a little sweet floral. I don't know how to describe it, but this is something that I'm always gonna that I'm always gonna want to repurchase. Something that I'm always gonna want in my collection. I I love it, and I'm so happy that I picked it up at Ross because when I purchased it the first time in the big bottle, it was a Macy's. I did not like it at the time. I returned it, but now that I like more mature scents, even though this is not as mature as my other ones, I'm obsessed with it now. So if you like like a little bit of like powdery but like sweet and very like girly perfume you will love this one so um yeah so that's my last favorite for today but anyways guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video sorry that i was so out of it today i don't know it's just my eyes are burning my nose has been like that and i haven't had um my allergies this bad in a while but lately the past three two three days i feel like yeah i have some stuffy nose and stuff but anyways guys yeah so that's why i'm like out of it so usually i'm not this out of it so please still subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and if you are and if you're liking my videos and if you're commenting i appreciate you so much and um yeah so i'll see you guys in my next video take care bye